In your own time, mate. Oh, we, oh, okay. Yep. So, put those keys away. Okay, right. For those that don't know, tell me who you are, yeah. what you've got behind you, what led you to buying... Is it a Civic? <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm Joseph, by the way. This is my 2011 FS2 Civic Type R. Okay. Um, I've owned it for about a year now. Um... Wow. Well, that's embarrassing, isn't it? I wonder just... whose car that is. Stop it! Okay, that didn't happen. <laughs> Um, and this is my third car. Your third car? Yeah. Okay, so what have you had before this? What led you to Honda Civic exactly? So, my dad's always been to Hondas first and foremost. Um, I will say 100% that's where my interest or my love affair with Hondas came. Um, my first car was an EP shaped Civic, 2003 one, three door. Um, it was a 1.4 Inspire S. S for uh, Sport? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't Sport. <laughs> I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I did so many miles in that car as you do as a first time car owner. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I sold it. Uh, it got trashed and it's now probably scrapped. Um, and um, I got an Astra after that, a 1.8 SRI Astra. Um, under well, that... the influence of someone else who will rename, rename, remain nameless. Yeah. Um, but it was a good car. I genuinely. I did actually care about, I grew to love that car for something else. Like it was just, it was very comfy. I do long miles in it. Um, it, it was actually really economical for the engine it was. Yeah. Um, and, and great yeah, around corners. <laughs> I'll touch on that later on in the video, but it, corners is not its forte at all. Um, and then I went on to Friday. Okay. Okay. It's nice. Very nice, yeah. but I want you to tell me what's not so nice. So, uh, see how seat. many things you can do. <laughs> okay, the seating position, whilst it's not bad, it's really not great. I like a lower, a low seat position with the stereo right in front of me. So, yeah. Um, this car is quite spacious inside, so you sit quite higher up. You made a joke saying that it was like a Picasso on the inside. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'm sorry to any Picasso owners, but they're dead cars, in my opinion. My dad's had three. He'll be watching this. <laughs> Apologies, Mr. Wilson. Like, you're a great guy and you have a great son. That car's not the one. It's just that it's the seating position and the digital dash that they've both got in common. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I will 100% agree with that. Um, again, like it's nothing like a Picasso though, but the seating position is a little bit high. Um, the fuel consumption in this is not the best, but then again, I don't, I didn't buy it thinking I'd get so many miles out of it. The most I've ever gotten out of it, and that was me grannying it for a week, um, was about 330 miles, uh, which was actually kind of decent. Reasonable. Yeah. Um, fuel tanking is quite small actually. Um, from basically empty, you're talking about. 55 pounds on premium unleaded fuel. That is quite, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit small, but. Although with coronavirus, that might be about five pounds the way the fuel's yeah. going, which is great. So true. Oh my lord. The savings on fuel has been amazing. Um, what else? Uh, the fuel cap. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, it still works fine. But on my first Civic, the cable that connects it to the paddle by the driver's side, um, where you pop it open, broke. And that was a 20 pound part, right? Just a cable. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, but the labour was extortionate, so I just never done it. They opened up a part in the boot where every time I go to get fuel, I'll put my hand in the boot to release the cap and close it. Um, oh, so you left it broken? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I sold it to the person I sold it to, whipped the part in the boot and told him, yeah, you just going to get fixed if you want to. Yeah. He never did. He didn't do that. In fact, he went and destroyed the rest of the car, so well, how about that? Um, Probably because he couldn't put any fuel in it. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bum, absolute waste, man. but yeah, anyway, uh, that, that, that's it. I can't actually complain about anything else at all. Okay, so I guess the next question then is, what do you like about it? But we haven't got all day, so <laughs> just a few things. 
Okay, uh, the looks of it, it looks so great, especially for a car that was designed in 2006. Mm -hmm. um, it looks and handles so well. Uh, oh, sorry, it looks very well, that's one. Two, the handling, and I'll probably say that's the biggest point about it. Um, going around corners is amazing. I, I guess it's a massive jump up from going from a Mark V Astro that understeers, even if you're going at zero miles an hour, understeer, which is roll, just roll around corners. This honestly handles so, so well. Out of factory, I haven't had any suspension mods done to it yet, but um, it handles so good. It's funny you say that because I guess when I always think about like whether a car is a good handling chassis, like obviously with mods on the Astro Mark V, you can make it go around corners a little bit. Yeah. But then you look at like touring cars, for example. <laughs> this Civic was a championship winning touring car. Yeah. The Astra yeah. lasted about two seasons before it was panned and replaced by a Vectra. That says everything. So if a Vectra can handle better than an Astra, oh then tells you all you need to know that yeah. it's a good chassis. It's it a is very good chassis. Yeah. Um, the interior is so nice. It's a, it's a lovely place to be in. Like I do long to, I regularly travel from where we are in Hertfordshire to um, Derby quite often because my brother's at uni there. Mm -hmm. um, it's a two hour journey and honestly in this cruise control just cruise. And when you want to floor it, drop a couple of gears, bang, you're gone. Um, cool. It's, it, it is very tactical. Um I'll also say the power delivery, not necessarily the power because it's not the greatest for a hatch. I mean 198, 200 if you want to be extra with it. But um, it's not the best, but the way it delivers, like just the sheer noise, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Louder than your source, it says it's been it, it, Yeah, for sure. Quite literally. No pun intended. <laughs> um, okay, but, and yeah. finally, mm. what are your plans? What are you going to do when you own it? When I own it? Oh, okay. Whilst you own it. Yeah, thank under you. Under my own ownership. <laughs> um, I do own this, it's not stolen. Right, just put out there. Um, I, I've already done a few things. Um, I put a double D in JBC. Um, Sarah system in there, which has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Nice. Um, so that's quite set up in Sarah quite a bit actually. Um, I've upgraded the pad and the disc, so all round they've got MTEC discs. Okay. Um, and EBC rest up pads at the front, um, which has helped to the braking quite a lot, actually massively. Um, I'm going to be uh, lowering it, which will be on the channel. Um, by myself, me and my dad and Callum. Oh, I'm looking forward to filming that one. Yeah, that's going to be a long day, but it'll be good once it's done. You, yeah, I'm not the most hands-on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool, it's fine. You can handle the media, it's all good. You can you handle the coverage. Yes, I can, like I can manage yeah. that, yeah. Thanks. Um, and I also want to get spaces, nothing dressed in this, and make a wheel stand. Stick out once they are lowered. Spaces, yeah? Yeah. Okay. That'll help your front tyres. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the front tyres have not lasted in any way, shape, or form. Um, six months. <laughs> just out there, people are looking to get brand new tyres and then thrash it on them. Six months, good year, F1. Eagle F1, sorry, asymmetric fives. So not fours, not three, fives. Um, and six months and they need to be changed. Oh dear. Well. So, yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to tell us about it? Or? Uh, no. No. Not really. It's... Yeah, I mean, you'll follow what I do with it in the future yeah. on the channel. Yes, we will. And, stuff. Um, and yeah, I mean, cool. It's a lovely Thank you, Joe. It is.